Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Inferno of Torture, uh, the 1969 film directed by Teru Teruo Ishii, uh, better known as the King of Cult uh, in Japan, who is kind of uh, little known here. You might, uh, thanks to Arrow Video, who is also releasing his uh, this title as of July 7th, 2020, uh, they've kind of single-handedly uh, been re-releasing uh, Ishii's filmography, including uh, Horrors of Malformed Men, which is based on an Edogawa Rampo novel, which is very island of Dr. Moreau-ish, uh, as well as uh, Curse of the Blind Assassin, which stars uh, Miko Kaji, her of the uh, female prisoner Scorpion fame. Uh, so this film uh, is bookended by some incredibly violent sequences that really land this in kind of a sexploitation territory. It opens with uh, criminal women being crucified and then stabbed violently through their orifices. Um, but really it relates the story of Yumi, played by uh, Yumika Karayama, who plays a young woman who's unable to pay a debt, so she takes a job working uh, as a geisha in the, uh, a house run by, uh, a, as is the fashion of the time, a strict lesbian otetsu. Uh, but it's not just any geisha house, it is a place where women are used for their skin and are uh, used as canvases for tattoo artists and competitions. Uh, there's also a lot of sex trafficking going on and rape. Uh, soon after, after the opening sequence we meet Yumi digging up a grave and ripping a key out of a corpse that uh, is supposed to unlock the chastity belt that's been placed on her. Um, and there's just lots of eye-popping, eye jaw-dropping sequences that, you know, are kind of unforgettable, but it's, it's you know, it's a misogynistic, uh, over-the-top exploitation film. It plays a bit like if Teshigahara and Masumura had kind of gone into um, more exploitation area, or if one were to remake a uh, a sexploitation film of Mizuguchi Street of Shame. It's uh, uh, identity and prostitution all mixed up in Grindhouse. Um, that said, uh, it is definitely uh, worth seeking out. It's uh, There are uh, different reports about this being the sixth film in uh, Ishii's trilogy, in his trilogy of sexual perversion, abnorm his abnormal love series. Uh, it's also uh, considered the fourth in a tetralogy of uh, three other previous films known as the, the Erotic Grotesque, and those films were all anthologies. Uh, but uh, this is very, a very prolific period for the filmmaker because this was one of seven films he released in 1969. Uh, so if you've never seen a film by Ishii, um, you could start with uh, Inferno of Torture, which is uh, a very fun film experience, especially with uh, a group of friends. Uh, overall, I would give the title three and a half out of five stars, and I would give uh, Arrow's release four out of five stars. There's an audio, audio commentary track from Japanese uh, cinema expert Tom Mess, um, and there's also uh, a segment on uh, the history of the erotic grotesque in Japanese cinema. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.